Hey everyone, great to be here. So I've been keeping an eye on the latest tech, and I gotta say, our phones are starting to look more like alien technology than something you'd use to ignore calls from your mom. Remember when the biggest phone worry was fitting it in your pocket? Now, it's whether your phone might accidentally transform into a spaceship. Let's talk about these crazy new mobile devices. First up, bendable phones. These things bend like a yoga instructor. You know, I tried one and it bent so much, I accidentally folded it into an airplane, sent a text to my friend, and it flew right into his house. Then there are these stretchable screens. I mean, how much screen do you need? It's like they're making phones for Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four. Next thing you know, your phone screen will stretch from your living room to the bathroom because who doesn't want to keep scrolling while taking a break? Self-healing screens. Have you seen this? You drop your phone and it just fixes itself. If only it could do the same thing for my credit score after I buy one of these high-tech gizmos. And phones that fold into tablets. It's like, is it a phone? Is it a tablet? No, it's a midlife crisis in electronic form. Seriously, I can't decide what to wear in the morning. And now I have to decide if my phone should be a phone or a tablet. There's talk about transparent phones. Great, as if it wasn't hard enough to find my phone in my messy room. Now I'll need a treasure map and a psychic. Projector phones are becoming a thing too, because nothing says, I love cinema, like watching a movie on a 60-inch bedsheet. Forget IMAX, welcome to my bedroom wall experience. Holographic displays are on the horizon. I can't wait to have a 3D hologram of my mom popping up, reminding me to wear a sweater. In 3D, her disappointment will be even more lifelike. Solar-powered screens? Finally, a legitimate reason to be on your phone at the beach. No, officer, I'm not texting. I'm just charging my phone with the power of the sun. Phones with built-in drones are in development. Because why hold your phone up for a selfie when you can just fly it around? Can't wait for the phone drone to get lost and someone's selfie ends up in another country. And phones that change color. Perfect for those days when you can't decide if your phone should match your outfit or your mood. Oh, I feel blue today. Let me adjust my phone to depressed denim. Have you heard about phones with built-in air purifiers? Now, not only can you talk and text, but you can also breathe easier. Literally, I can see the ads now. Buy our phone and never inhale your friend's bad breath on a call again. Next up, edible phones are supposedly in the works. Yeah, because I look at my phone after scrolling through food delivery apps, and my first thought is always, Man, I wish I could eat this. Imagine the new data plans, unlimited talk, text, and snacks. Phones that can fold into origami shapes. I mean, it's cool and all, but when I'm trying to make a call, the last thing I need is my phone to turn into a swan. Sorry, I missed your call. My phone was a butterfly for an hour. Then, there's the concept of mood ring phones. They change color based on how you feel. 
Great, now even my phone can judge me. Oh look, it's turning green. I guess I'm envious of everyone who doesn't have a phone that's like an emotional snitch. Phones, as fashion accessories, are becoming a trend. They're not just phones anymore, they're part of your outfit. Next thing you know, you'll be coordinating your apps with your shoes. Does this app go with these boots? Virtual reality phones are around the corner. Finally, a way to ignore reality in style. Why live in the real world when you can live in a phone? Sorry, can't come to work today. I'm hiking in my phone. Phones that can emit scent are being talked about. Because what we've always needed is to smell our caller's environment. Ah, yes. I really wanted to experience the aroma of your gym locker room during this call. Thanks. Phones that double as fitness equipment. I mean, who needs a gym when your phone can turn into a dumbbell? Hold on. I'm just finishing my last rep of text messages. Believe it or not, there's a concept for phones with built-in coffee makers. Because why go to a cafe when you can just download a cappuccino? One sec, let me take this call and brew my coffee. And of course, phones that transform into drones. Because why not? Lost your phone? No problem, it'll just fly back to you, unless it decides it likes someone else's pockets better. Have you heard about phones with built-in lie detectors? Now, every time you text LOL, your phone vibrates if you didn't actually laugh out loud. It's like having a tiny, judgmental polygraph in your pocket. Phones? are becoming remote controls for life. Lights, TV, cars, even toasters. There's nothing your phone won't be able to control. It's all fun and games until you accidentally start your car instead of changing the TV channel. There's talk about phones that act as personal stylists. They suggest outfits hairstyles, even beard styles. Great! Now my phone can tell me I have no fashion sense. Siri, what should I wear? Honestly, just stay indoors. Phones that can grow plants. Yes, that's a thing. Because when I think of technology, I think of gardening. Hey, I can't hang out. I need to water my phone. Imagine phones that can cook. At this point, why even have a kitchen? What's for dinner? Hold on, let me download a pizza. Self-cleaning phones are on the horizon. Finally, a solution to the one problem no one had. I was going to clean my room, but then I spent an hour watching my phone clean itself. And then there are phones that double as virtual pets. They need to be fed, walked, entertained. I can barely keep my plants alive, and now I have to take care of my phone too? Phones that play mood music depending on your activity. Walking in the rain? Cue the sad violin. On a date, smooth jazz starts playing. It's like living in a movie directed by your pocket. Phones that predict the future. Oh, my phone says I'm going to ignore a call from my mom in three, two, one. And finally, phones as life coaches. They'll motivate you, advise you, judge your poor life choices. Did you really need that third slice of cake, Dave? Thanks, phone, for the support. 
And that's our sneak peek into the future of mobile technology. From phones that can cook dinner to those that can scold you for your life choices, it's clear we're not far from a world where our phones might just outsmart us. But hey, as long as they can still make calls and send texts, we'll probably be okay. Thanks for listening, and remember, the next time your phone buzzes, it might just be asking for a walk or a glass of water. Good night.